teach our people in what through movies movies like Exodus right you seen that movie when Moses went into Egypt yeah this is what Mo uh, what God told Moses to tell Pharaoh read and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh read thus say the Lord read Israel is my is my son is what Israel is my son that's what our people are talking about say I'm a child of God you are a child of God, but you have to know what did your father name you. God called us Israel, right here. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Oh, uh, you got Judah, American black. You got West Indian black. You got Haitians. You got Puerto Ricans. That's those are these are the southern kingdom of the northern kingdom of Israel, the so-called Hispanics. We got Gad, uh, Native Americans. Check, check, one, two, one, two. God called all of us. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's how he that's what that's what he named us. Right? Read it again. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. And thou shalt you can come out the rain, brother. Step forward so that way you can have something covering you, right? Read. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord, uh -huh. Israel is my son. Read. Even my firstborn. So God's children, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God calls them Israel in the Bible, right? But this is what happened to Israel because God created you for a purpose, right? He didn't just set you on this earth to be in the estate that you are in right now. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. God created, created you, Tim, for a purpose. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. When God established you, he established you to be separate. That's what holy means. You are supposed to be separated from every other nation that God created. Meaning, you're not supposed to be intertwined with so-called Caucasians. You are not supposed to be intertwined with so-called I mean, um, uh, Chinese or Japanese. That's why they don't be in your communities. Who is in your communities? Your people. Right. Right? Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people Read. unto himself. God said you are created to be special unto himself. Read. Above. A what? Above. Read. All people that are upon the face of the earth. God said that you are above every nation that is on the face of the earth. Right? So why would we degrade ourselves and lower our standards and follow their European customs? Like 4th of July. You celebrate 4th of July, Tim? I ain't gonna lie, I, I eat the uh, hot dogs and hamburgers and ribs. So. Right, so you go and you celebrate it, right? Yeah, but, but, I, but see, not fireworks and none of that stuff. Just. Okay, well, <laughs> you still indulging in the yes, feast? Yes, yes, right? yes. Because we can eat hot dogs any day. I can go get me a hot dog right now. Right. Well, right. not right now, but you know, Later. after, right, right? Right. Not celebrating the 4th of July. Right. Right? Give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Watch what God said about his holy special people when he separated us from the nations. We're not supposed to get caught up in their, their European feast days, their European customs. Those things are vain. And they are the main cause of the situation that you see our people in. Do you see a problem in our communities with our people? It is, right? It's stuff that can be fixed in oh, our yeah. communities, right? Read yeah. that. Read that. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. This is how we begin to fix the problems that we have in the community. First, we need to separate from the people that are oppressing us. And the way we do that, is coming out of their uh their uh celebrations, coming out of their uh their traditions, coming out of those churches that they indoctrinated us with, right? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Read. Thus saith the Lord, 
Learn not the way of the heathen. See, the heathen, according to the Bible, is every nation outside of yours, Tim. Every nation that is not on the 12 tribe chart, according to the Bible, the Israelites, those are the heathen. Read it again. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So don't learn their customs. God says we don't learn them. Don't learn a uh, 4th of July. Don't learn Thanksgiving. Don't learn Christmas. All of those things have nothing to do with God. Right? Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That's another ideology that they like to get into. Oh, I'm a Capricorn. I'm a, a Pisces. All, always desiring and wondering about the stars of heaven. Don't be dismayed by those things. God just put them there for signs. Not for, not for things that you should be concerned about. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Read on. For the customs of the people are vain. See, God says you the 4th of July, it's vanity. Right. Because we celebrated 4th of July for over 400 years. And what has it accomplished for us? Huh? Tim, has it done anything for us? Has it stopped the gang violence in your community? Uh, popping fireworks? How about, has, has it helped you pay your bills? It hasn't, right? It's just an expense. You going out there buying fireworks? You going out there buying hot dogs for the grill? Sure. How you doing, brother? Well, sure. Hold on, calm down. What we over here going over is we going over how we, how, we restore, how, we, how we restore our communities, the solutions that we need. Because the 4th of July is not helping us. Right? Give me... Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. No, and you cannot even preach more than me. Because you, you, you no, I'm not out here to preach more than Hey, how you doing, brother? Boy, Let's start off like this. Well, What's, your you? What's your name? What's your name? Everybody that's stuff in Walmart. Calm down. Hey, you can back up off the sign a little bit. Just back up. Just give us give us some space. We out here because we love you. That's why we out here. We want to. We come here in our communities to talk to our brothers. Read that. What Read that. You to? Deuteronomy chapter 28, Just verse listen, 15. Brother. Watch. But oh. it shall come to pass. God says the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is a prophecy that will happen to us, right? You In our community, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hey, Tim, do you agree, agree with the Bible? Do we listen to God as a nation of people? We don't, right? We don't keep God's laws as a nation of people. God say his high holy day, the Sabbath, is on a Saturday. You know what our people do? We go and celebrate it on Sunday. Right, right. That's what we do. We don't listen to God as a nation of people. So guess what? Since we will, will refuse to hearken and, or listen, this is what God said he would do. To observe, to do all his commandments Come on. and his statutes, Come on. which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. So Tim, since we don't listen to God as a nation, God says he was gonna put curses on us because we wanna celebrate the 4th of July. We wanna celebrate Christmas. Right. We wanna gang bang on each other. Right. Sell drugs to one another. Uh, pour out our women. Since we wanna do all these things that go against God's commandments, God said he was gonna put curses on us, right? Read verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. God says in every city that you go to, Tim, whether it be Opalaka, whether it be uh, Davie, whether it be Fort Lauderdale, what city we in right now? Uh, whether it be by oh, U.S. Flea Market, right? I think this is called like Westview, Dade County, right? So every city that we go to, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God says that they will be in the worst conditions in that city. Would you agree? We are, right? We do feel those uh, apartment complexes that look abandoned. Why? Because the tenant, the uh, the uh, the realtors, they will refuse to paint the buildings. Landlords. They refuse the landlords, right? They refuse to repair things in our our complexes. They just leave them like how they are, all because us. Our people, that's the way we treat treat our things. 
We destroy one another and we destroy our neighborhoods, the things that we have. Right? Read on. And curse shall and curse shall thou be in the field. And God says, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, uh, soldier, give me this sign. Give me the field. Which one is that? The one over here? God says in every field that you go to, we were there. Did we not fill the cotton fields? Did we not pick the cotton, the sugar cane, the corn? That was our history. What are we reading? We're reading the Holy Bible. Our history is recorded in the Bible as us being the Israelites. Right. See, well, the problem was we have been deceived. Just like how we read in John uh, 8 and uh, 32, God says, when you learn the truth, the truth will set you free. Right. We are not free yet. That's why we have to go, we have to go renew our application so we can vote every, uh, what, four years, five years? You understand? That's why on their, um, on their laws, they declare us three-fifths of a man. We have to march for equal rights, right? Black Lives Matter. This is why we go through all these things. You can put the sign down now, officer. It's because God says for your disobedience, he was going to put curses on us. Uh, give me verse verse uh, 40, 46, no, 37. I'll find you for a sign. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And God says those curses, those identifying markers, were going to be on you for that, for that sign. So when you read in the Holy Bible, who was in the cotton field? We had the history. We were. That's how we know we the Israelites. When you, when you look in the city, every worst condition, we there. God says these curses will be on you for a sign, Tim. Right? Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder Read. and upon thy seed forever. It says for that wonder, you're going to wonder why you work all your life. You work nine to five. You try to get that promotion. You try to get that raise but yet you still can't get out the ghetto. You still can't make a prosperous life. Hey brother, check it out. We are going over your history over here according to the Bible. You understand? Did you know that you was an Israelite? Go around this way. I know about my history, bro. You write on the money. So if we are Israelites according to the Bible, we have to keep God's laws. You gotta start putting fringes on your garment. That's some of the things we're going to go over, Tim. Let's take it a step higher. Hey, come around. But come no, around. I, I, chop I, it I up with us. You I, got five, ten minutes. I don't. Right? I so, don't. According don't. to the Bible, since we refuse to listen to God, God said he was going to put these things on us. Watch this. Let me ask you a question, Tim. In the, um, when we were on the plantations, right, and we was working, let's say we did something the master didn't like. What will happen? It'll get, it'll get beaten, right? Right. Do you think that history is in the Bible? Uh, I, I don't know everything. Watch this. Give me um Nahum chapter 2. I, no, chapter 3 and verse 2. Give me Nahum chapter 3 and verse 2. Read that. The book of Nahum chapter 3 verse 2. Come on. The noise of a whip and the noise of rattling of the wheels. Hold on. Read it again. It says the noise of a what? The noise of a whip. So God says... The noise of a whip. That's what the slave master used to beat us with, right? Read on. And the noise of the rattling of the wheel. The, the noise of the rattling of the wheel is when we ran off the plantation and the slave master go get his cart with the horse attached to it and he start chasing you. You hear those wheels rattling, right? Read on. And of the prancing horses. The horses prancing. And of the jumping chariots. And the, the jumping chariots. Read on. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. God says the horsemen lifted up the bright sword and the gl glittering spear. That's the pistols that they had and the whips. That's what they chased us with. Just like now today, those same people would be that uh, that uh, rattling noise of the wheel. It would be that whoop whoop. Oh, yeah. whoop, whoop. Right? You hear those, those flashing lights behind you. You hear those sirens. That's the same thing. God is giving us our history in the Bible. That was it on that? Yes, sir. And there is a multitude of slain 
and a great number of carcasses. A what? Of carcasses. That's what they did. They passed judgment on us when we were in captivity, when we were in hard bondage. And still doing it. Still doing it. Still gunning us down in the street, right? That's what that, this is our history that we are reading in the Holy Bible. Right. We are the Israelites. That's right. right. That was it? No, sir. Read. And there is none end of their corpses. I mean, they, God, God says there is no end. That's why it's still continuing. It was happening in 1492 and 1619 when we was trying to run off the plantation and it's still happening today while we running wild in our neighborhoods. Read. They stumble upon their corpses uh -huh. because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot. So why does it happen to us? Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot. See, it's because the multitude of the, the what? Because of the multitude of the whoredoms. The multitude of the whoredoms of the harlots. Like uh, 4th of July. We, we follow that whoredom. That's what that is. That's worshiping another God. Right. You just didn't learn it yet. Right. You, you don't know where these, some of these celebrations come from. Right. Give me Proverbs chapter 22 and verse, uh, I believe it's verse 10. Yeah. You understand? We got our history in the Bible. Yeah. And God says, all this judgment that you see before you, Tim, is because we won't listen. In the right. We won't listen. What are some of the judgments? The, 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 the uh, other nations police, policing our neighborhoods and passing judgment on our brothers when a lot of them are innocent some of them deserve it some of them deserve it because they won't repent that's their judgment but some of us are innocent and we still get oppressed we still get robbed right? read that Proverbs chapter 22 verse 10 cast out the scorner and contention shall go out Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. It says what? Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Uh -huh. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. See, we have to cast out the scorners. Cast out, that's how we're going to get the, uh, what is that? The reproach. Reproach shall cease. That, that's that correction. You understand? So let's get into some of these solutions we need to start changing, Tim, so we can start bettering ourselves in the communities. Right? right? Wouldn't, those, wouldn't that want to be something that you would want to know? How could you change your condition? Right? All right, so let's get into that, Tim. Watch this. Give me uh, Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Let's get it. Because these are some of the causes of the curses being on us. You got to understand, Tim, this is a spiritual war. Right. right now, the reasons why what's going on with us is all God's curses. Right. And this is the only way to turn the tide. It says for the reproach to cease if we get rid of the uh, snares, the traps. Right. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Read. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So God says, you, Tim, as an Israelite man, what tribe you said you were from? Right here on this side? Uh, the West Indian. West Indian. So you will be from the tribe of Benjamin, That's right. according right. to the Bible. Anytime you hear God talking about Benjamin in the Bible, he's talking to you, Tim. You are from the tribe of Benjamin, from the nation of Israel. That's right. So God says, Tim, from the tribe of Benjamin, my Benjamite brother, right? He says, read it again. They shall not make boldness upon their head. God says you cannot bald your head. You cannot make the baldness. Now, if you naturally going bald, that's okay. But if you make, see, cause yeah, I got, I'm kind of light up here too, right brother? That's how we roll. Yeah, us Benjamite brothers. So, but you cannot make the baldness. You can't take a razor and hit you up with Michael Jordan, <laughs> uh, Tyrese. You can't do that thing, right? Because it's an Egyptian custom. Right. We're not Egyptian. We're right. not. we not Africans. Right. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's, That's right. 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 Our custom. Our custom is to keep God's laws. Right. Because this is our heritage. This is what God gave us for inheritance. Right. All of these laws. Hold that. Let's prove that. 
Give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. What we going over, these laws that we have to use for our betterment is inheritance that God gave to you. Right? Have you ever asked yourself, damn, what is my heritage? What, what are my customs? Right? Because Christmas is not your custom. Fourth of July, is that your custom? Did your people make that up? No. So that's a good question you should ask yourself. What is my heritage? Right. What are my customs? Right. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. God says for breaking his laws, he was going to discontinue you from your heritage. Give me that Deuteronomy chapter 6. What is it? 6 and 5? Heritage? Sirach? Yeah, give me the one of Sirach. He said he was going to discontinue you from your heritage for, for disobeying his commandments. Right? So let's find out what the heritage is. Read. Sirach chapter 17, verse 11. Read. Beside this, he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life. And the what? And the law of life Read. for inheritance. God gave you his laws for your heritage. Tim? That's right. So when it says, thou shalt not kill, that's your heritage. Right. When it says, thou shalt not steal, that's your heritage. That's right. The Sabbath day, like we was going over earlier, what we spoke about every week on the Sabbath, on a Saturday, God says that's your heritage. That's your Christmas. That's your Fourth of July. Feast of Tabernacles, Pentecost. All these are high holy days that God gave you to celebrate, to cook food, to get together with family. He gave all of that to you. Right. And no other nation. Right. That's right. You the only person on the earth that can say God created my holidays. Right. Not man. Right. Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.